He's ready for his prime shot here. Cooper, we're trying to film an intro, but you don't speak English. Can you come over here? No, no. Are you, okay, are you ready? He's ready. I think we're ready. What's up guys, welcome back. So last week we did all about owning a Great Pyrenees, which is our dog Coda, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So this week we thought we would do all about owning a golden retriever. They're originally bred in Scotland, but they are thought to have originated from the Russian tracking dog. They actually were bred with a job. They were bred to be hunters, particularly, <laughs> yes you were. Specifically waterfowl, because if after you hunted the birds, the dogs could swim out, retrieve the bird, and they have super soft mouths, so they aren't going to damage the meat as they were bringing it back in. As you guys can see, Cooper is not a hunting dog. Well, he hunts he, he hunts frogs with yeah, butterflies. <laughs> the first thing you should know about owning a golden retriever is they are full of energy. And as you can see from this wonderful intro, they are always busy. <laughs> Some of our favorite activities include running, chasing, Swimming, wrestling, pretty much anything that's active and somewhat annoying. And what goes hand in hand with all of that energy? Playtime. And in our house, playtime isn't just any time, it's all the time. Oh, you're on the couch? It must be playtime. It says, pets give their owners a great psychological boost. Uh, playing oh, oh. is a, a psychological boost. disturbed me and took my pillow. Oh, you're cooking a meal? Playtime. Oh, you're, you're trying to film a video? It's playtime. And anything can be a toy. After all that playtime, the next most important thing is rest. Not currently right in this moment, but rest. Cooper is always the first one up to bed. Now here's the deal. If we're not ready to go to bed yet, Cooper will actually wait at the bottom of the stairs to make sure that we know that he's ready to go to bed. Do you think somebody wants to go to bed? It's not time yet, buddy. Cope. Once we get him in bed, Cooper likes to sleep like a human with his head on the pillow. He also is a really active cuddler, and throughout the night, he has to be touching you in at least three points, and he's very aggressive about the cuddling. Like, most, most dogs like to cuddle. Most dogs like pets. Most dogs like, you know, being around somebody. He forcefully cuddles. And in the morning, that's our most difficult time in this household because Cooper, once he's in bed, does not want to get out. What are you doing? Are you kissing me because you threw a temper tantrum this morning? Hi, right, Coop, it's time to get up, come on. Coop. Coop. She's getting up, you gotta get up, come on. It's time to wake up, let's go. We got a whole day ahead of us, we got a, a movie to film. This is unacceptable. You need to get up. We have videos to film, potties to make, breakfast to eat. It's gonna be a nice day, maybe we can go swimming or something. Come on, come on. All right, well, I tried.
the balls are available to him. Like he, he could he could pick those up. Yes. You're not you're not holding them from him. No. He brought them over here. Yep. And now he's crying about them being there. I don't know exactly where they're supposed to be, but they're not supposed to be there. Just I give guess. it a second, give it a second. He's thinking. Well, that brings us to our next point about owning, owning a golden retriever. They are very emotional. And Cooper is not afraid to tell you about his emotions. Oh, I love it when you stir my coffee. <laughs> it's, oh, I just love you so much. <laughs> this is my lady, she's making my coffee. You also really don't like being left behind, do you? If we leave the house, if we go out on the boat, if we go to the bathroom, he makes it very clear that you have hurt his feelings and he feels left out. And the last thing you need to know about owning a golden retriever is that they are one big hot mess. I know that we focus on Coda being a big hairy monster all the time, but don't let that fool you because Cooper sheds just as much. It's not just the shedding, you guys. I can't even wash a window without him going behind me, replacing the nose art. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the toys that are constantly scattered around my house. So, it's Sunday morning, right before we post this video. All week we have not cleaned up the dog toys out of the bedroom, so today we're gonna see how many toys are accumulated in here over one week. Are we ready? We have a pig, a dodo bird with the tags on, a hippie man that's very, very old. There is a popcorn bucket up at the head of the bed. Did you get hungry last night? That's your pillow. Yes, that's where we do our snacking. A squeezy ball that I have repeatedly said is not bedroom appropriate. This is the worst nighttime toy ever. Yes, he, he he drops it off the bed, and if it if it just rolls off, it'll roll off by itself. It's just the way gravity works. We have a frog with a butterfly. We saw this one in the morning segment. That's yeah. been one of the favorites lately. Rabbit situation. Just so you guys know, this toy is really hard underneath and it is really heavy. So this is also very uncomfortable to have dropped on you in the middle of the night <laughs> or again, to have rolled off the bed. Oh, this one he brought me this morning. This is a soda. So well, I guess he thought I needed energy. Need a little caffeine, yeah. Yep. A champagne bottle. Nice. Another one. Not really appropriate. Brush for mornings, but I guess late at night maybe. A bell ball. Oh, a surfing dinosaur. Surfing dino with one arm. Did he get in a shark attack or something? I think he got in a coda. <laughs> a coda attack. We have a Christmas lamp top. Inappropriate for the season, but we'll okay. let him do his thing. And last but not least, we have a blue, squishy, very dirty old ball. I don't love it like that, buddy. Every toy should be as slobbery as possible. If it's not glistening in the sunlight, it's not a good toy. He just washes it around in his mouth. So gross. And <laughs> like a dog washing machine. But he does it with the soft toys too, and then he drops them off to guests, and guests are like, this is sopping wet. <laughs> he drops them on the floor and there's a splat. Yeah. <laughs> and there you guys have it. That is what it's like owning a golden retriever. I hope that you all really, really want one because I love mine so much and he's not being annoying right now at all. <laughs> if you guys want to see more clips and... I was going to say tricks. He doesn't really do tricks. If you guys want to see more of Super Cooper Sunday, Coda, and Bella, as well as the vlogs, make sure you check out our Facebook page. It's linked down below. What is he doing? I don't know. Is he upset that I'm holding the ball? Is he upset that the video's done? This is more than emotion. <laughs> He's the most emotional Dude, being I've ever seen. You can, do you, do you want me to? He doesn't want it like that. He doesn't want, oh. 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 
well. Darn me for holding the ball that he gave me. We'll see you guys later.